sometimes we're shamed out of changing and evolving, but don't be afraid to evolve and change as your desires and your wants and what you know changes. Hi, my name is Megan, and today we're gonna to be talking about starting a career in media. So a little bit about me and my timeline. When I started college in 2015, I just knew I was gonna be in computer science. I started, I enrolled in like computer science as a major and got in and did not like it. I eventually transferred and ended up in an English degree. At the time, I was kind of looking between media and marketing and trying to make that decision. So a lot of the classes that I took were journalism or marketing classes. The summer before I graduated, I entered at a news company and learned a lot about production and decided that's kind of the path I wanted to go. One quick side note, side lesson I will say, work on building connections and networking no matter where you are. During that time, I definitely like fumbled the networking bag, fumbled the bag in general. And looking back, I realized that a lot of imposter syndrome stopped me from really like growing and doing things outside of the scope of my job that would really set me up to be in a better place today. Anyways, I graduated school into a pandemic. Trying to pursue a career in media during a pandemic in a state and city that is like not super production heavy has been difficult. Right now, I am currently a post-production supervisor and I got here by applying to a social media intern job. Right now, I am very, very early career. I actually just kind of started doing what I'm interested in. We can talk about how I got into it because it's a really interesting story. Last fall, 2020, I started getting into Clubhouse, which is funny because I feel like no one uses Clubhouse now. But I started getting into Clubhouse. I was in a couple of rooms where people were talking about media and media jobs. There was someone that was speaking on the stage and she was just kind of giving people advice for early career. I decided to DM her I kind of told her where I was. She gave me some suggestions, some Facebook groups to join, but she was kind of like, there's not a lot of media jobs where you are, which is something that I already knew. After about a day or two, she sent me a job posting for this internship opportunity. Me being me, I like DM'd my now boss, kind of just letting him know that I was applying, that I heard about him through this person that I heard on Clubhouse. When I had the chance to talk to him and interview, I let him know that I have experience in social media, but my goal is to go into production and that allowed me to be where I am now. In the past, I've had some experience being a social media consultant, so I used that and leveraged it to get my position now. I feel like I haven't landed exactly where I want to be and I'm still a work in progress. But one piece of advice that I will give is definitely networking and being as honest as you can be with people. Being upfront about what I wanted to do at my current company allowed me to work to where I am now. So here is some of the advice as someone that is still navigating the very, very early stages of my career in media. Number one is definitely networking. Networking can get you into places where your talent or just your resume can't even get you. Two is it is okay to pivot. A lot of times I will tell people with like 100% confidence that I'm going to be doing X, Y, and Z in a couple of weeks. It changes because I'm learning so much about my industry and that's okay like sometimes we're shamed out of changing and evolving but don't be afraid to evolve and change as your desires and your wants and what you know changes three is really work on your craft so if you're someone that wants to be a video editor practice video editing for people if you're someone that wants to be in production, learn everything that you can about production, try to write some things, um, work on producing small projects for yourself. Even if you don't share it, it's a really good way to understand the process and have some things to add to your portfolio. So my like overarching tip would definitely be don't be afraid to learn and change and pivot. 